Hello VIPs, this is Kiki from First Class Living and we are at Target. So this week at Target, um, there is a promotion for spend 50, get back a $10 gift card um, on food and beverages. Um, also, I have several Ibotta bonuses that I'm going to pair with the deal um, to get an even greater savings. So if you have the climb bonus, if you have a midweek moneymaker bonus, then this video is for you. Hopefully it'll give you some ideas on things that you can get to get those bonuses completed because once you finish the climb bonus, it unlocks um, another bonus and that bonus unlocks another bonus. So I am here at Target. I need 13 more rebates to finish my climb bonus. And I'm going to pair it with the spend 50, get back a $10 gift card. So let's go. So the first deal we're going to start off with is on the Skippy peanut butter, the squeeze. They are $2.59. There is a 10% Target cartwheel offer. Also, if you go on peanutbutter.com, you can print the 75 cents off of two Skippy peanut butter spreads squeeze printable coupon, giving you a 75 cents savings. And also we have dollar rebates back on Ibotta so you would get that times two so you would purchase two at five dollars and 18 cents you would get the 10 percent off which would take off 52 cents and then you would use the 75 cents off of two printable coupon pay three dollars and 92 cents out of pocket get back two dollars from ibotta making it a dollar and 92 cents for both or 96 cents each not a bad deal Hormel bacon is five dollars and 89 cents we have ibotta rebates for the ranch the jalapeno and also the classic country style and all three packs of bacon completely free Next, I'm picking up these Sour Punch Bites. They are 99 cents. I have an Ibotta rebate back for 35 cents, making them 64 cents. So the Black Forest Gummies are also 99 cents, and I have an Ibotta rebate for 25 cents. And that is gonna be our next item. Twix Minis is $3.79 at my store. We have a shop kick offer for 575 kicks, which is equivalent to $2.30, making a bag $1.49. Okay, so I was in the candy aisle and I saw these. They look exactly like the 99 cent bag, but on the app, there are two different ones. So I scanned these at the scanner and these are a dollar sixty nine so I'm putting that back and I'm gonna get these instead these are the ones that are actually 99 cents so be careful guys if you're gonna do this deal red vines are a dollar and 39 cents here at my store and we have this 35 cents off on Ibotta not off but cash back offer on Ibotta so that's another deal idea um, that you can use in your scenario. Another deal idea is on the flow water at my store. The 500 milliliters are $1.59 and the liters are actually on a promotion. Um, two for $4. We do have this Ibotta rebate that'll work on the 500 or the one liter. Uh, for 75 cents back up to five times so if you like this water that's one idea so coke products are on a promotions for spend 15 get back a five dollar gift card these are all of the brands included we do have duncan 
I bought a rebate. Um, I'm not sure if this is the Dunkin' Coffee, um, but we do have I buy the rebates for that, and I believe the Core Power Outlook. But you can double dip because Coke products are also part of the spend 50, get back a $10 Target gift card. So if you are a Coke drinker or you um, enjoy any of these other brands, consider adding that in um, to maximize your savings. All right, the next deal is on the Lunchables Loaded. They are $3.79. We have shop kick offer for 25 scans and a thousand when you purchase which is four dollars and ten cents making it free and a money maker next i'm gonna get this lunchables phone pack it is two dollars and 49 cents at my store we have a shop kick offer for 825 kicks 25 scans 800 when you purchase which is three dollars and 30 cents so that'll make that one also free and a money maker all right next i'm picking up oatmeal we have this quaker oats old-fashioned for two dollars and 49 cents we have the quaker instant oatmeal for two dollars and 49 cents and if you like the rx am they are two dollars and 69 cents at my store and we have a 75 cents for the old-fashioned 75 cents for the instant and 75 cents for the rx am so i'm going to be getting both of these and after the 75 cents back they're going to be a dollar and 74 cents each next we have the fruitly they are 3.99 we have a 40 percent target circle offer which will take off a dollar and 60 cents we also have a dollar back on ibotta so that'll make this just a dollar and 39 cents So the flow water, the 500 milliliters are $1.59 at my store. We do have a Target Circle offer for 50% off. I am actually gonna pick up four of them because this will work four times in one transaction. So that'll make them 79 cents. And then we'll get back 75 cents uh, four times so that makes them only four cents each great deal the true lemonade packets are on sale for a dollar and 89 cents we do have uh, and i bought a rebate for 50 cents back so that would make those just a dollar and 39 cents and this is the 50 cents rebate so that is an option if you need, <clears throat> excuse me, if you like these and you wanna add them in your deal. All right, so this is what my cart is looking like right now. I am at $49.92. So I need to get at least one more item uh, to hit the $50 to get the $10 gift card. And also this is only 12 rebates and I need 13. So let's find one more item. I thought about the Cheese It Groves because they are two for five. And we have a 75 cents rebate back on Ibotta um, that I can use up to two times. So that'll be um, $1.50 back, making them $1.75 each. The Laughing Cow to Go two cups are $2.99. Ibotta is giving us back $1.50, making them just $1.49. Okay, guys, this is my final cart. Um, I decided to add the Laughing Cow um, to Go because there is a $1.50 back rebate on that. 
and so this is everything we are picking up we did go over fifty dollars um this is actually fifty two dollars and ninety one cents so let's go up to the register and see how we did um and we are only really using one paper coupon for the skippy today and then i have a couple of cartwheel offers um, but the rest we are going to get back and rebates and gift cards so let's go check out <music> So if you are not using the rebate apps um, and you'd like to, please consider using my link in the description box below. This app we're currently looking at is the Shotkick app. And I currently have enough kicks to get a $25 gift card. So I'm gonna cash out this $25 gift card to help me pay for my transaction today. All right, and this app right here is the Fetch Rewards app. So if you don't have the Fetch Rewards app and you would like to do so, please consider signing up with my link, which will be in the description box below. And it looks like I have enough to get a $10 Target gift card. So I'm going to cash out that and that'll give me $10 um, off of my purchase today. Okay, I have added all of my gift cards from Shopkick and Fetch Rewards to my wallet because I find that it's just easier for me. I just type my number in at the pin pad and these gift cards will come off automatically, including my um, Target Circle offer. So easy peasy. And I realized that I have $5.73 left on this gift card. So sweet. That gives me a total of $40 in gift cards and I estimate I'm going to pay about $46 for everything so I'll pay about $6 in some tax out of pocket let's go all right guys I am back in the car and everything did not go as planned the first sign of trouble for me was my gift cards i put all three of my gift cards into my target wallet and they would not come off at the register i've kind of figured out have a problem because i wasn't able to toggle in the app to make the gift cards active and i'm like okay maybe it's just a glitch and it'll come off at the register but no it didn't but that was okay because I still had those gift cards inside the Shopkick and Fetch Rewards app. So I just scanned them from there and that was fine. And so my total was a little off, but it was less than um, what I calculated by about two cents. So I'll take that. And then I ended up having a dollar in my Target Circle earnings. So I used that towards the deal. And so when it all said and done after gift cards, I ended up paying $5.69 out of my pocket. Um, and then the $10 gift card, it did not prompt at the self-checkout where I checked out at. Now, I don't know if this is actually because the promotion is saying it's for pickup and same day delivery only, or if it was because Target was having some type of issue. Because again, I kept trying to activate or allow the gift cards to be used in my wallet. And for some reason, it let me add them, but it would not let me do a toggle over and i'll have to put something on the screen to show you what i mean to to let the system know that i want to use that payment method so anyway i went to customer service and just tried to see if they could help me and they were really nice they explained to me that that offer was in fact supposed to be um through shipped or you know if you but online it says pick up or same day delivery so if you put those items in your cart connect your target account to ibotta that way the the offers will you'll still get the ibotta offers 
um, and just pick it up if you want. You don't have to have it delivered because I'm not sure if that's an extra fee. I've never done the delivery through Target, but I do know that you can order and pick up. I have done that before. So do the same things that I did if you want or put the items in your cart that's in your area that you need. Um, do a pickup and you'll still get your $10 gift card plus the Ibotta rebate. So all total, um, my transaction after Cartwheel and my one coupon was $46.74. Um, I did get back $28.12 on Ibotta. I'll be getting back $7.40 on Shopkick, $50 for the scans and 1800 for submitting my receipt and again customer service was very nice and i did get back a ten dollar gift card so to recap 46.74 out of pocket and i got back a total of 45 dollars and 52 cents in rewards making my final transaction total one dollar and 22 cents that was an amazing haul for me um, cause I picked up 19 items for a dollar and 22 cents. I'll take it. And if you do these deals in store, um, and you don't get back the $10 gift card, um, it makes it just $12 and 22 cents, which is like 64 cents, a item. And for that bacon alone, that was a great deal. So although I had a lot of hiccups and things didn't work out, um, it still worked out. Oh, and I was looking for the freebie buy drink. Um, and it was saying on the app that it was available, but it was not on the shelves in the aisle that, you know, my app was saying it was. But having the issues with the gift card and me going to customer service, I ended up finding the buy drinks on the end cap. So, of course, I ended up purchasing it on a separate receipt so that I can submit it after I submit this receipt because I know that the one bonus, the climb bonus unlocks, I think, the peak bonus. And so I can submit that receipt for the next one. So I hope that this video was helpful and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye, guys.